Traditionally, the dome hut was more of a permanent living space. So if you were going to live somewhere for more than a week or more than a month, you'd go and you'd stay in a in a dome hut. You'd build yourself one, and you'd have it nice and big, fit you at least up to 15 people in it. How's that? Because traditionally the dome huts reached uh, were, or the remains of them, were three metres by three metres, the hut depressions were. Because this is a big job, okay, what I'm going to get you to do is build me a windbreak. Okay? Now a windbreak was a, more, was a less permanent um, living space. Okay? It's something they'd build just to block the wind out so they could sleep behind it. Decent thickness though, it's got to be decent thickness. Come along and you're going to weave it. Okay, so it starts on this side. That next piece that the next person grabs is going to start from this side. Push it down. Okay, so does everyone get the picture? Wow. That's why I'm sharpening this stick. So it goes in the ground easier. See, and look, see, nice and sharp, and you can go boom, and it's in the ground. Like the most huts, they're all designed, they're going to break, they're made out of um, natural things. So, and if they're, say, a one side had fallen off, they just repair it and uh, fix it back up. So each season they come back to that one spot. to adapt and use the um, bark that we've got around the vicinity and then I had to think of a way of how to get it so we could use it the same way as stringy bark so then we come up with the idea of using bundles and then we bundled it all, all up and then we weave them bundles through the things. I'll show you one Yep. So we want some long ones to go on the top. You're learning. It's going really well. Um, it was really windy last night and everything stayed there, so hopefully it's going to be there for a while. Boys, inside the dome hut, I'll get a quick look up there. I can see from here. Oh, windows. Right in the park out window. Uh, 
15 big people sleep in here. That means that they keep warm. It's really, really, really good. Is it warm in there? Yes. Wow. Most of the bark down the bottom is all from around this area here, but the bark at the top, and yeah, that's stringy bark. It's used to make uh, bark canoes, make rope, dome huts, half dome huts, used in the windbreak as well. So it's used for many, many things, and it's really good, and you can use it as a mattress as well because it's nice and soft. Thank you, Dad.